Bugling elk dominate Idaho's outdoors in the fall. But in Teton Valley, now you can add another wild sound to the landscape. This one is the throaty sound that comes from feathers instead of fur. The sky is turning as orange as the leaves on the hillside. The marshland is steaming in the crisp morning sunrise. It's so picturesque, you want to sing. So does something else. They're just really entertaining and really majestic, interesting birds. They look like little miniature fuzzy dinosaurs, I think. <laughs> the fuzzy little dinosaurs she's talking about are hundreds of greater sandhill cranes. They're in Teton Valley preparing for migration to Mexico. The mix of large marshland and small grain fields is perfect for what they're after. It is no accident that they're here. They're here because of a very specific alignment of resources. The 14-pound birds stand five feet tall. They live 40 to 50 years. They mate for life, and they show off that commitment with brilliant flair in the fall. Get your eyes accustomed to it, and you see that these giant birds are out there in just numbers 50, 100, 200. And it's just like nothing else. About 1,500 cranes spend fall in Teton Valley. Historically, up to 5,000 were here. Now the valley is trying to help the cranes that are left without hurting the farms. That means offering up selected grain fields as welcome wagons. Those fields are purposely cut to lure the cranes in and keep them out of other grain fields that are just about ready to be cut. We're really working hard to work with our local farmers and ranchers and keep their lands open and productive and also balance the depredation uh, on their crops from the cranes. It took a decade to see results in this balancing act, but now that the results are visible and vocal, Special. crane watchers are coming to town and conservation awareness is kicking in. By working with partners who can protect habitat for cranes, we're also protecting habitat for moose, fish, waterfowl. People really care about cranes and what they're doing, and so that makes them a perfect uh, species to be an emblem for conservation. From rivers to ridges, Chris Milgate, East Idaho Outdoors.